So we'll talk about the Armstrong video. But if Master Shambuka would do a kata, if he did it ten times, he never always did it exactly the same. If he felt good, boom, 100 miles an hour. If he felt bad, or if he was just, you know, tired from the end of the day, then... Okay? Okay? And if he was what? If he felt good, boom! Oh my God! Something, he did a mistake, because why didn't he go... Okay? And we already got that on film. There's this guy can vouch for it, you know. All right? He's thinking about it. He's just seen a film that Shimabuku forgot to come back down again. <laughs> okay, you see what I mean? So, but he was consistent. So on Okinawa, we asked Sensei to do the kata, or he do the kata. We'd see him seven times, so we knew the standard. The other three times, sometimes he'd modify a little bit, or he'd be faster, or he'd be slower, okay? But you knew there was a standard. Now there was a time that he would do. We did basics. The basic exercises, when we did the basics, we had so many exercises. Then in 1969, I came back to Okinawa, and they were doing this in the basics. He never had a back kick in the basics. Now, 1969, I was not there 66, 67, 68. So somebody can say they were there and they hadn't told since they put the back kick in. So I don't know when it came there. But in 69, when I was there, a back kick was now used in the basics. There is one change. All right? When we first learned Sunusu, this is the way we do it. After that, then we did Sunusu here. There's a second one. Okay? We had, in the basics, two roundhouse punches. Count them. What is this? Nothing. It's just a wind-up. Sensei, why are we doing a wind-up? Can't we use a block? Oh, yeah. There's another chain, all right? He used to teach prior to 19, in the, uh, up to, I don't know what year, uh, to be precise, but around, before, around before 65, he used to do this in our basics. All right? It was a total ripping kick. A lot of the Marines were telling me, hey, we don't, we don't go barefooted, we wear shoes. Sensei, a lot of Marines were saying, you know, you know, why are we doing a toe? And plus, they couldn't strengthen their toe anyhow, so half the time the technique wouldn't work. So Sensei said, oh yeah, use heel kick. See, so then, then became a heel thrust kick. And some, when they said, oh, we can use the heel, and you'll still see this today, many, thinking that they're hitting what? But what? <laughs> What are we hitting with the heel if that's a heel thrust kick? Okay, so it was that. That was why it looked here. And believe it or not, we saw some other style Shotokan doing one, and they do a kata unsu, and they go up like here, and then they do something that looks like this. So i got to find out if there is, because everybody says there's no such thing. Okay, now, here's another change. We got that? Wansu. In Wansu, we went here. And then we'd come back with a back fist strike. Then, I'm not sure, don't, don't quote the exact date, because, you know, I'm getting hazy now. But then, I think after 60s, in 64, 65, or somewhere, or maybe 69 it was, I don't know. It was somewhere around that time, you know, within a five-year span. Then he went like this, and I said, Sensei, why are we doing that? He said, stronger. Okay? So now we have another change there. That, that's a major change, okay? Let me see. You notice there ain't 20 billion changes like everybody keeps saying there is, right? Okay, Sunusu. In Sunusu, many times in Sunusu, when you ask him, Sensei, what is the interpretation? Boom! He just punched you from here. In other words, he didn't like this. So today, when I do the kata, sometimes that's what I do. I'll do it boom, like here. Okay, just like I said, sometimes the interpretation is different in the practical pra 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 Okay, an example. Sanchin. Sensei, what is this? Oh, you catch the ribs. There is no rib catch there, guys. But he does it in what? Sunusu. But when he demonstrated this, what did he do? 
So he thought that was probably the way Sanjay should be, so he puts it in his own kata sunasu. Even though you ask him, remember somewhere I wrote, I said, he said, Sanjay is good for the grip? Well, this is, this is the grip. But when you ask him this, it's actually the spirit for us, but he would actually grab you. Well, we do that in, in sunasu. So even though it's not, you see? So sunasu, like I said, one time it was like here, and then, like I said, sometimes you would see him here. Chinto. Sometimes he'd do chinto, and he'd do this, let's say, in one movement. But when he went out of bat out of hell, like demonstrations and that, sometimes he'd just go boom, bam, you see? Well, one, you'll see me once in a while, I'll do this. So everybody, so I, everybody, you know, I know it. But 99 and 99% of the time, I'll just boom, like here. Okay? So that's because I do it. Because I've seen him, and that's what I prefer. Uh, Kusum Kusai, he created Kusum Kusai, he took it from Kusum Ku, naturally. And when he first did it, he would throw kicks into it. Then, about 1960, no more kicks. And then I said, Sensei, because I learned it both ways, I said, Sensei, how come we're not kicking anymore? Or how come you're not kicking anymore? He says, all weapons. In other words, the emphasis is on the weapons. So he did away with it. Today, now we see it both. Both are correct. It's just, which one are you doing? And that's where the argument. There are some things that he did two ways, and possibly three ways, consistently. Okay, Sun Tzu is his name, right? His nickname. Sun Tzu is his nickname also, which is correct. Oh, that's right. According to his son, he says 40% call, call him Sun Tzu, and the other 60 Sun Tzu. Both are correct. So, if I do here, or I do, which is correct, or both are correct. If I do this, or I do this, it's that era. If I do this, that is also correct. There's a module with that. When you want to do it, the teacher would like it. Okay. That's the one they want to do And whether he wants to make the change. The thing is, now, I was one of the few people that actually used a twist punch in the dojo. Others did it. We've got photos of Ungi doing it, and i got photos of Bartoselis, Bremer, I, I'm not Bremer, but i got photos of people that have done it, okay, that use a twist punch. But I never saw Sensei do it until I saw that video, <laughs> and it's, he did it. So, 1969, Sensei, uh, I, you know, he already told us we use a twist punch. Why, why were we allowed the twist punch? or the vertical punch, okay? We were allowed it because many of the Okinawans were leaving because they didn't, they, they didn't like the twist punch. Well, that's what they say, just that. I don't think it was just that. There was many things, you know, power and all this other good stuff, king of the block in this area, you know what I mean, which happens in any organization. But so Sensei said, well, we can use it, twist punching. We can use either one. The reason I preferred the twist punch was because I was taking other systems. I was going to, just like some people, go to school to school. But my main dojo was the Ishinru dojo, you see. And I went, since Sensei went and learned Shorinru and Gojudo, I wanted to find out what he changed, what he got from these systems. So I used to go to Shorinru as the years go by, and now I'm interested, you know, I try and find out that Gojudo at one time did a spear hand. So I took a Ichidu to study, to understand where the Gojudo part came from, and it kept leading the style to style and everything, you see what I mean? And even today, I still go to different stuff. But the thing is, he didn't make as many changes as everybody says he did. It's the people that have made changes. We used to have, as a matter of fact, I'll show you a handout we used to hand out, and I'll show you one that we photographed. So I'll show you two handouts, or two things that showed the basic exercises. In both of it, it will say open hand face, uh, open hand sweep to the face. Now, what would you think is an open hand sweep? But one of them says, open hand sweep across face to neck. But today, in other words, don't tell me to change this, because it's in writing. Of course, we can't prove how we did it. You just got to take my word for it and remember the memory of some of the other people that start remembering it. But it was never this. Back fist strike. Well, maybe he said, well, block, then back fist strike. It never was no block. See what we're talking about? It was back fist strike first. Now, if you want to use the word block, throw it. But it was not block strike, although it can. Those are hidden movements, which everybody can have. See? That high block you did, I mean, we've, we've learned it as like a circular type of movement. 
Mom, it is. It is, right? Yeah, but then you have to come yeah. down. Yeah. Now, you, you can experiment with that. What is the difference with this, okay? Number one is, when I bring it here, I bring it right back to what? G <laughs> comes back to a basic kamai to protect me against any other. This kamai, kamai is nothing more than a boxer comes out, he gets on an on guard. That's what these are. There are names for many of these kamais. I don't know all the names for them, but there are names for all these kamais, you see. Nico Ashi kamai. That's easy one, right? Cap stands. But there are many different names for different kamais in this. I don't know all the names, you know. Crane and all that. Some some people have elaborate names for it and all that good stuff, you know. But I'm just saying, so there are names for these Kamai. But Kamai is put in your hand. There are block we have blocks in there that never existed. We have people that are chopping down and we're doing blocks that never existed. You know? Well, it's gotta be a block that Shotokan does it for a block. I don't give a damn if Shotokan does it for a block. They fly up in the air doing these these crescent kicks. Oh, Ishinu must do it that way. So we got people flying there, and you know, I've never seen them do that. Doesn't mean since they didn't do it, but I've never seen them. Okay. So is that answer your question on the changes? There might be one or two others and a few others. I find that through, through the years of, 20 yeah, billion. Through the years of, of, of studying the art, and unfortunately, a lot of a lot of people are going back from Okinawa and saying this is the way Master Shoko was taught, and that's the way it should be, the way he taught him at that particular day. But I've seen so many changes. I mean, how many times have you self made an error or mistake? And you find it in, a, in, a, in my organization, my people say, what if we used to do it this way? Yeah, we did do it that way, because that's the way I was put, and I change it and change it until you find the tool. The yeah, but why not do it? If you want to if you want to do it your old way, do it that way. Do it. I do one, so two ways. 99% one way, but I do it once the other to yeah, show when, him that he did when it. You're, when you're teaching, okay, those changes, do you, do you, in your classes, in your dojo yourself, do you teach it just that one way? Or do you, that, you know, hey, we used to do this. I mean, do you, do you ever, like, later in the classes, I mean, teaching your student, you're teaching him uh, two ways of doing it. You know, this way. Do we ever do that? Oh, okay. At one, at one point, do you teach, no, no. <laughs> do you teach it at the same time, or do you say, okay, we're going to teach you this way, and then years down the road, then we're going to say, okay, now we're going to change. Years? How many years have you been with him? <laughs> okay. Uh, whatever. It doesn't okay. take no years. As soon as he learns it, say, well, you'll see some people do it this way. So you're authorized to do it both, and you can do it both ways. But you better not do it. You better do it the way I do it now. <laughs> yeah, so that's for yeah. uniformity. But when they're by themselves, they can do it both or three ways.